Hello, well, just uh, watched episode 10 of Arrow, Blood Debts. Uh, well, I haven't really watched it since Christmas. I know it was, it went off for a while. Uh, uh, watched episode 9 again. I'm glad I did, actually, because it got me back into the flow of it. Uh, the sequels to, like, when, when they all got shot in the car. Uh, was I disappointed? No. I found this episode really interesting. Uh, I know I keep saying on the Arrow reviews, I'm fed up with that island. I, I mean, it, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on that island. I mean, there's more fucking people on that island than that else. You know, is it, where are they? It's Lost TV series on the other side of the island. Anyway, that's me moaning about the island. Uh, Oliver's on a mission. He's going around just doing everybody in him and Team Arrow. Uh, poor old Felicity Smoke, we find out she can't walk. Uh, she's, her spine's gone. Obviously, she's going to become like an oracle type character now. And we get the birds of prey, you know, because we could do. And uh, there's that creepy guy, him, him, uh, serial killer dude that worked for Damien Dark or whatever it is, I forgot, I forgot his name, but uh, painting his anarchy symbol everywhere, wanting revenge. He's going on one about when Speedy burnt him, that he was reborn in fire. But uh, Team Arrow are using him to get to Damien Dark. So we're all running about with all that, which is interesting. And um, Oliver, what was it? Black Canary, she gets them arrested. And uh, Oliver frees them as Arrow, you know. And puts tracker on him, to track him down to find Damien and Dart. And we, then we find out a bit more, and then obviously he kidnaps Damien and Dart's wife and child. And uh, we assume from last episode, they didn't know about his life, you know, it was like, the way that was his thing. He kept them out of it, his wife and child. And our team Arrow turn up uh, to obviously, you know, trap them and that and they get him, rescue them and that's wife and kid. And um, there's a bit of a fight between them both, which is sort of interesting because uh, he saved his family and uh, David that says, can't defeat me. And he said, since you my family, I'm going to let you live for a few weeks, say bye bye to your loved ones, I'm coming for you, I'm going to kill you, and that's it. And uh, the interesting thing with Diggle and his brother, I mean, that is quite seriously dark. I mean, you know, Diggle goes in there and he punches his brother in until his fists are bleeding. And found that quite disturbing. You know, it's his own brother, it doesn't matter what he's done, you know. And he's done it to him before, and his brother, something happened, well, his wife, Diggle's missus, says to him, look, you know, instead of being like this, talk to him as your brother. And he does. And he gets the information that's required. But it's it, it, quite interesting. I mean, how far Diggle will go for Team Marrow. Felicity's mother, she gives it uh, Ollie when she tells him she can't walk. I feel quite sort of sad for Felicity. I too were going to believe in Arrow. Because we still don't know who's in the grave. I've got theories, but... I don't want to say, I'll leave that for a couple of weeks when we float it. So obviously we're going to find out in a couple of weeks, quite a big one. It's somebody we're not going to be expecting, I'll tell you that now. I bet it's one of the main characters. It's got to be. I mean, I mean, they're focused enough on it, aren't they? I mean, even in the episode of Flash when he turned up, my photo for the city smoke, but she was in the car. Which is a nice little twist. Uh, the episode with Constantine with the tattoo popped up on the island. And he pulled out some orbs, so that's interesting. Is this all connected to the hive? All in all, Arrows this season is moving along beautifully. I, li I like the speed of it. It, it. It's fast, it's intense, it's very dark in places. Uh, he's just getting better. I mean, like I keep saying, he could be Batman for all I care. Uh, it said John Barrowman in the credits, we didn't see him at all. So that's really my morning review of Arrow Blood Debts this week. Uh, five out of five, definitely. Uh, and like I said, we're moving to episodes 11 and 12. So we're going to get something quite big with that, I assume, over the next couple of weeks. I mean, it's been a ride uh, on this series. It definitely has. I mean, last series was a bit disappointed when it went off. You, you know, the final episode quite disappointing. But they've definitely made up for this it's on a, it's on a roll keep going with it uh so that's it really that's uh, my review on arrow blood debts awesome so please share and subscribe 
see you on the next video. Live long and prosper, guys. Right.